Most people think anxiety is psychological, stress, trauma, overthinking, but the biology tells a different story. See, anxiety is electrical. It is the result of unstable voltage inside the brain, weak neurotransmitter balance, and metabolic systems that cannot keep up with modern inputs. And this is the part no one actually explains, and this is where carnivore changes everything. So, today I'm going to show you the physiology, glutamate, GABA, thiamine, taurine, cortisol, and why an animal-based diet stabilizes the brain faster than any supplement stack most people chase. So, if anxiety controls your life, this will make sense. Anxiety? Yeah, that's what happens when your brain runs on cereal instead of steak. See, anxiety begins long before thoughts show up. It starts with neurons that fire too fast, too loud, and too often. So when the brain loses electrical stability, you feel racing thoughts, chest tightness, panic swings, noise sensitivity, insomnia, they can't shut it off feeling. And this has a root cause. See, your brain is dominated by glutamate. And glutamate is the accelerator pedal. It speeds neurons up. GABA is the brake. It slows them down. So anxiety happens when glutamate overwhelms GABA. When the brake system fails, your whole brain runs hot. This balance has almost nothing to do with stress, or mindset. It is a voltage chemistry and this is where carnivore flips the entire system. Carbs spike glutamate. Sugar spikes glutamate. Seed oils and processed food inflame glutamate pathways and the modern diet floods the brain with unstable electrical signals. When you switch to meat, glutamate drops, inflammation drops, voltage stabilizes, Myochondria stop drowning, neurons stop firing randomly, and protein gives clean fuel. Fats give slow, predictable ATP. No glucose spike, no wild excitatory swings. And this is why so many people say, well, I feel calm within days. I feel stable. My mind is quiet. That is not a placebo. That is glutamate coming down, but lowering glutamate is only step one. Anxiety? That happens when your glutamate is at 900% because you replace breakfast with four coffees. This fixes the glutamate problem, not your seventh espresso. Animal protein is rich in taurine and glycine. These two amino acids do what medications try to do. See, taurine raises GABA activity, glycine slows nerve firing, both stabilize the brain stem, both calm the limbic system, and both they drop nighttime cortisol. So this is why people sleep better on carnivore. This is why panic attacks stop. This is why noise and stimulus sensitivity drop. See, plant foods do not provide these therapeutic doses. Meat does. This is why anxiety often improves when people go animal-based. Not because of beliefs, because of neurotransmitters, physics. Now here's a part almost nobody talks about. Thiamine, vitamin B1, runs your voltage system. It powers the enzyme that feeds the mitochondria, pyruvate dehydrogenase. If this enzyme slows down, your nerves suffocate. Low thiamine causes fast heart rate, tingling, panic waves, breathlessness, migraines, brain fog, noise sensitivity. Sounds familiar? See, many people who try carnivore come from years of high carb eating, caffeine abuse, seed oils, alcohol, stress. All of these destroy thiamine status. See, carnivore gives the mitochondria clean fuel. Thiamine is what unlocks it. This is why so many people feel the full effect after supporting B1. It's not psychological, it is ATP. See, cortisol is not a stress hormone. It's the hormone that stabilizes blood sugar. So 
when you eat sugar, grains, uh, frequent snacking, your cortisol swings all day long trying to actually rescue you. And these swings create jittery anxiety, weak energy, blood sugar crashes, nighttime wake-ups, irritability, fear response activation. When you eat meat, blood sugar flattens, insulin drops, cortisol calms, stress response normalizes. See, stable cortisol means stable brain signals. Stable brain signals means less anxiety. And this is why carnivore feels quiet. Your endocrine system finally shuts up. Now, some people get worse before they get better. And here's why. So your number one would be electrolyte shift. See, low carb lowers insulin. Low insulin drops sodium. Low sodium makes anxiety flare. Add salt, stability returns. Number two, thiamine deficiency unmasked. See, without carbs, your cells now demand efficient mitochondrial function. If thiamine is low, the system struggles. Support B1 and the anxiety collapses. Number three, caffeine dependence. You remove carbs but keep caffeine. This keeps glutamate high. So remove caffeine for 10 days and anxiety improves fast. Number four, low stomach acid. This is a big one. If you don't digest meat, you won't extract taurine, glycine, B12, iron, zinc. So these stabilize GABA. Adding HCL until the stomach acid is strong would be ideal. Number five, magnesium deficiency. See, magnesium is a voltage buffer. Low magnesium makes anxiety loud. Fix magnesium and the nervous system stops screaming. These are not emotional problems. They are mechanical problems and they all improve with the right protocol. So here's a simple correction plan for you as an example. Morning, 200 milligrams of magnesium glycinate, 50 to 100 milligrams of thiamine, electrolytes with real salt, high protein breakfast or OMAD timing, now midday, meat or eggs, hydration of course, light walkings to stabilize vagal tone, evening, three grams of glycine, one gram of taurine, zero caffeine, high fat meal supports GABA, low sensory input, 30 minutes before bed. So within about 10, let's say 14 days, the majority of people feel a shift. Voltage stabilizes, cortisol evens out, Glutamate drops, GABA rises, anxiety fades. It's not magic, it's biology. Most people do not have a psychological problem. They have a metabolic one. Fix the electrical system and the brain becomes quiet. Meat gives the nervous system the fuel it was built for. And when you repair those pathways, anxiety loses its grip. Before you go, hit, drop a comment and share this with someone who needs it.